So we'll go to the one more problem. So problem runs like this. A point S is in the first quadrant. So you can observe that here, the quadrant itself given in the problem. So problem itself is telling it is in the first quadrant. So first quadrant, front way above x by line, top way below x by line. Point S. So I told that whenever given in the problem, it will be Okay, in capital letters, so point S is given capital letter, is in the first quadrant and equidistance of 50 mm, this is very much important, equidistance of 50 mm from all the three principal planes, from all the three principal planes, draw the projection of the point, draw all the three views of the point. So here, it is in first quadrant given, second one, equidistance of 50 mm from all the three principal planes. What are the three principal planes? So we got vertical plane, horizontal plane and profile plane. So previous problem we are seeing the profile plane. So these three planes are called as principal planes. So here 50 mm equidistance, equidistance that is it is equal, it will have equal distance from all the three planes that is from HP, VP and PP. So from HP 30 mm 50 mm, it's 50 mm and VP 50 mm and from profile plane also 50 mm, equidistant. So then draw the projections of the point, then once again he's telling that draw three views. So whenever you are locating three principal planes, so you will be by default drawing three views. Which are the three views? Top view, front view and profile view. So here in case of uh, graphics, it is very much important to read the problem, analyze the problem and then how will be the solution and then start with the solution. So reading the problem and analyzing what is given is very much important. So point S is in the first quadrant. So it is already given in the first quadrant. He is telling that it is already that is in the first quadrant. Then equidistant, very important key words in the problem. Equidistant from all the three planes with a distance of 50 mm. So equidistant, that is very much important. Then draw the projections of the point and also the three views. So once you read the problem, so then we can start drawing the projections. So you'll draw the XY line. So here first quadrant, so first quadrant always vertical plane will be above, horizontal plane will be below XY line. Vertical plane above XY line, horizontal plane below XY line, X, Y, VP, HP. So this VP and HP you should use capital letter. Then start drawing the projections. So equidistance of 50 mm from all the three planes. So from all the three planes, the point is in first quadrant. So first quadrant, front view will be above x y line, top view will be below x y line. So somewhere here we can start from here. So draw a vertical projector of 50 mm above, same vertical projector 50 mm below. So since it is the first quadrant, so point given is S. So this is the projector that is S dash, that is front view. This is projector S, that is top view. So 50 mm, 50 mm. Equidistance from all the three planes. I have fixed two planes, that is 50 mm from horizontal plane and 50 mm from vertical plane. Then I should fix one more plane. So for fixing one more plane, in the previous problem, it was given that uh, distance of uh, some distance from uh, radius RPP. So profile plane, some distance was given. But here, he has not mentioned any distance here. So, but he is telling that from all the three planes, it is 50 mm. So from all the three planes, it is 50 mm. So from this projector, what I have drawn, where I fixed the top and front view, I will measure a distance of 50 mm. I will measure a distance of 50 mm. So since it is given that is equidistance from all the three planes. There, I'll fix my, I'll draw vertical projector, that is your X1, Y1 line. So 50 mm from profile plane, 50 mm from vertical plane, 50 mm from horizontal plane. I have satisfied all the three conditions. I have satisfied all the three conditions. Already I have drawn two views, that is front view and top view. So only thing is I have to draw or I have to fix the profile view. So once I fix the, uh, your Profile plane that is x1, y1. So here the point is in the first quadrant. Point is in first quadrant. 
So I draw a 45 degree line in the adjacent plane that is in the since the point was in second quadrant in the previous problem. Now here in this problem the point is in first quadrant. So whenever the point is in first quadrant so where I should draw the 45 degree line. So one thing you have to remember always top and front view will be in line similarly the profile view and the uh, your front view will be in line always top and front view will be in line and your front view and profile view will be in line. So that is uh, the principle or that is fixed always that point you should always remember. Now I have drawn already the profile plane. Now here is my front view here is my top view that is in this plane I got front view in this plane I got top view. So I should get the profile view. So always front view and profile view will be in line hence in this plane I should get the profile view. In this plane, I'll, I should get the profile plane. Where that is what I have to locate. Now, how to draw the profile view in this condition? That is, uh, it is a condition where the problem is in first quadrant. Now, I know in this plane the profile view I should get. So here I got front view. Here I got top view. So here I got one more plane. I got I, go, I got one more plane. In this one more plane. At the intersection of your xy and x1 y1 line, I'll draw this 45 degree line. So in this vacant plane, so here I got top view, here I got front view, here I should get profile view, where that is what I have to fix. This is the vacant plane. So at the intersection of xy and x1 y1 line, I'll draw 45 degree in the vacant plane. Then the rule is same, always as I told. Uh, start from always top view. So this is my top view. So st start from top view, draw the horizontal projector until it meets the 45 degree line. Then from there, I'll draw vertical projector. It should be above or below. Here, I know this is the plane where I should get the profile plane, profile view. Hence, I'll draw the vertical projector from here. I'll draw in this direction, vertical projector. Then start from front view. This is my front view. So once again, you should move either towards left or right. So here I will be moving in this direction because I know profile view will be here. So I will draw a vertical projector from S dash that is the front view here in this direction. So uh, this vertical projector and horizontal intersection of this vertical projector and horizontal projector that intersection point is my profile view. So that is represented as S double dash profile view will be always uh, represented by double dash. So that fixes my profile view. So that is what I asked in the problem. Draw all the three views. I have already drawn the top view, front view. Now I have fixed the profile view. So all the three views I have drawn satisfying with the condition given that is uh, it is point is equidistance from all the that is three planes that is 50 mm given distance. Next we will move to the one more type of problem. So here uh, same thing, how will be the problem if, when it is in third quadrant? So here condition is that problem is first quadrant. So third quadrant, you can see that front view will be above xy line, top view will be below xy line. So this will be front view, this will be top view. When that is the case, in, whenever the point is in third quadrant, how to draw the profile view? How to draw the profile view? So I will fix the profile plane satisfying the condition. So if it is in third quadrant, so this will be my front view, this will be my top view. So always top and front view will be in line. Similarly, front and your profile view will be in line. So if it is point is same problem, if the point is in third quadrant, this will be S dash, this will be S. That is top view, front view. So profile view will be here. I will draw 45 degree line here if it is in third quadrant. If it is in third quadrant. So then always start from the top view, move towards left or right. Then start from uh, the intersection point, move above or below, and start from front view. So intersection you will get the profile view. So here, whenever a point is in first quadrant, so I will get the profile view here. So whenever a point is in the third quadrant, I will get the profile view in this plane. Just opposite to the uh, this first quadrant. Then coming to the one more variety of problem. So here problem runs like this, a point 30 mm behind VP. So it is very much important given 30 mm behind VP, 30 mm above HP and 25 mm in front of slash behind from LPP. 
front slash behind from LPP. So keywords LPP front behind. Draw the projections and name the side view. So here 30 mm behind VP, 30 mm above HP. So behind VP and above HP. So it is always uh, it is it is given such that behind VP and above HP. So where will be the point? So just to imagine how will be the uh, which will be the coordinate? It's behind VP. This vertical plane, this behind VP, this above HP. That's what given. So point is in second coordinate. So behind 30 mm here, 30 mm here. So distance is same here. Number given uh, distance uh, is 30 mm behind, 30 mm above. Somewhere here will be your point. So second coordinate is known that top and front view both should be above x y line. Top and front view will be both above x y line. So how to draw the projectors? So I'll draw x y line. I'll draw the x y line. So then. Uh, First, I'll try to fix the top and front view. So here also, uh, I should draw the profile view. First, I'll draw the top and front view. So measure distance from x y line 30 mm above, then uh, 30 mm in front of V. So since it is both uh, uh, 30 mm behind VP and above HP, behind VP and above HP, both given as 30 mm. So the same point will be that is your top and front view. So if you draw projector, draw measure distance 30 mm, locate the projector. So this will be your both top and front view. Since it is given 30 mm behind and 30 mm above HP. Then this fixes your top and front view. So I have to draw the profile view. So for drawing the profile view, so I should fix the profile plane. I should fix the profile plane. So where I have to fix the profile plane? So go to the problem. It says that 25 mm in front slash behind from LPP. So LPP means uh, it is left profile plane. So I have to fix the left profile plane and then draw the profile view. So this is my top and front view. So from this projector, I'll move a distance of 25 mm towards the left. So towards the left direction, I'll move a distance of 25 mm. So here, whatever it may be given front, behind. So just look at whether it is given as RPP or LPP. If it is RPP, move towards the right direction. If it is LPP, move towards the left direction. So I'll measure distance of 25 mm from this projector, from this projector. There I'll fix my profile plane. That is X1, Y1. I'll fix my profile plane. So then once I fix the profile plane, so then I can draw the profile view so profile view i can draw so here one thing you should carefully observe that here both top and front view is the same point same point represent both top and front view hence so here once again the point is in second coordinate so when the point is in second coordinate so to draw the profile view you should draw 45 degree line in the adjacent plane i know profile plane should somewhere here i should get in this profile plane so your front view and profile view will be in line. So at the intersection of your X, Y and X1, Y1 line, I draw 45 degree line in the adjacent plane, in the adjacent plane. Then according to the rule, start from top view, move towards left or right until it meets the 45 degree line and then move above or below. Then start from front view, move towards left or right. Intersection of this vertical and horizontal projector will get the profile view. Now, since here in this case, both Top and front view is same, representing the same point. I'll draw horizontal projector from in this direction until it meets the 45 degree line. So then, according to rule, if I move above or below, I cannot move because both front and top is same points. So the intersection of this horizontal projector with this 45 degree line itself is your profile view that is represented as C double dash. That is represented as C double dash. And here he's telling draw the projections and name the side view. So here the view what we get is called as left side view. The view what we get is called as left side view points. So we'll go to the next problem. The problem runs like this. A point A is 20 mm above HP, 25 mm in front of VP. Another point B is 25 mm behind VP and 40 mm below HP. 
draw their projections when the distance between their projectors parallel to x y line is zero and also the add the right side view only to point b so as i told in the previous session so here you should read the problem carefully and then analyze what is the data given and then how will be the projections and then start with the projection so here uh, projection of that is condition of two points are given so point a is 20 mm above hp and 25 mm in front front of vp that is one point another point 25 mm below vp and 40 mm that is behind vp and 40 mm below hp so uh, projection that is you have to draw the projection of two points you have to draw the projections of two points its position is given its position is given both with respect to hp and vp now uh, to start with drawing the projections initially you should analyze the quadrant in which the point lies so if you consider point a it is given as 20 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp so once you read that above hp in front of vp so it, it will be always in the first quadrant so first quadrant it is above hp and in front of vp that means point a is in first quadrant then come to uh, the other point point b is 25 mm behind vp and for, uh, 40 mm below hp that is behind vp and below hp so this is the condition so it is behind vp below hp means it is the point is in third quadrant so once you analyze where will be the point lying or in which quadrant it lies the first uh, point is in first quadrant uh, second point is in third quadrant so once we know the quadrant so we will be knowing where will be the top view and where will be the front view so first for first quadrant so your front view will be above x y line top view will be below x y line whereas for third quadrant it is reverse top view will be above and uh, front view will be below so once you know this you can start drawing the projections so first draw x y line x y line and then start drawing the projections of each individual points so come to the first point so 20 mm that is below hp and 25 mm in front of vp so from this x y line measure a distance of 20 above and 25 mm below so already you know it is point a so this will be a and this will be a and since it is first quadrant so the front view will be above x y line so hence it be this becomes a dash this will be a next you have to draw the projection of the second point but here one uh, added thing what is given in the problem is that he is telling that uh, that is distance between the projectors parallel to x y line is zero this is very much important in the previous problems a convenient distance was given or distance measured between the points parallel to x y line was given now here it is telling a uh, problem is running like this projectors parallel to x y line so is zero means distance between the end projectors is zero that is nothing but the projection of both the points will be in line that is nothing but projection of both the points in line in the previous problems convenient distance was given in one of the problem in other problem so the distance measured parallel to x y line was given between the two projectors but here distance measured parallel to x y line is zero this is very much important so since it is zero both the projectors of both the points a and b will be coinciding so once that is uh, concluded because of the data given so from the same point measure distance of 25 mm so 25 mm behind vp and 40 mm below hp so 25 mm above x y line 40 mm below your x y line so there you get the point b and b dash since it is the point is in third quadrant so the front view will be below x y line top we will be above x y line so that completes the first part of the problem that completes the first part of the problem next he is telling that add the right side view only to point b so i have drawn the projection of two points so a and b so you have to draw the right side view only to point b so if you want to draw the profile view or side view you have to fix the profile plane as already discussed in the previous problem so you have to fix the profile plane so if you want to fix the profile plane you should know what is the distance from your that is projector 
that is not given in this problem that is not given in the problem when uh, the data is not given you can take any convenient distance you can take any convenient distance and draw the profile plane that is what done here so from this projector measure uh, any uh, distance what you assume there you fix your profile plane that is your x1 y1 line that is your x1 y1 line this distance is not given this distance is not given so when it's not given you can uh, assume any convenient distance so once you fix the profile plane then you start drawing the projection in order to get the profile view for point b only for point b only so here this is for point b this is my top view this is my front view so already as we seen in the previous problem so your front view and your profile view will be in line as top and front view will be in line so the front view and profile view will be always in line and point b so point b is in third quadrant so point b is in third quadrant here i got the top view here i got the front view so here in this plane i will be getting the profile view so this is a vacant plane so as discussed in the previous session so here in this vacant plane at the intersection of your x y and x1 y1 line i will draw 45 degree line i'll draw 45 degree line so then applying the uh, general rule you will be always starting from top view so starting from top view that is b so move horizontally until it meets the 45 degree line then vertically down here we are moving vertically down because so i know my profile view will be in this plane so then vertically down then start from your front view and then draw horizontal projector until it meets this vertical projector that intersection point is b double dash that is your profile view for point b only that is your profile view for point b only so that's how we can draw the projections when the condition given that uh, the distance between the projectors measured parallel to x y line is zero next we'll move to one of the one more problem that is uh, problem number seven here uh, though you look at the problem the problem looks lengthy but solution is very simple only thing is that how you read the problem and analyze the problem so just if you go through the problem it says that a common point 40 mm below x y line represent not only the front view of three points a b and c also top view of point c next the top view of point b is on x y line and top view of point a is 50 mm above it draw the projections of the points and add right side view of point a only and state the coordinates in which point lie so very simple problem very simple problem so here uh, how it starts with that a common point 40 mm below x y line so below x y line already it is straight away given so i do not bother which coordinate it lies so below x y line so 40 mm below x y line so represents not only the front view of three points means that 40 mm what you measure below x y line represents a front front view of three points a b c we got three points so that one individual point represents all the that is front view of three points that is a b and c also it is that the top view of point c means one projection point will be representing four points that is uh, front view of three points a b and c and also top view of point c means four projections are fixed directly that is just measuring 40 mm below x y line then further what he says that top view of point b is on x y line so there also i do not bother which quadrant is straight away telling that it is on x y line i represent it on x y line and next he says that top view of point a is 50 mm above it 50 mm above it above it means above x y line so once again uh, i do not bother quadrant so directly so 50 mm above it means above x y line so there are three points a b and c so totally i should have three that is six views so all are directly given all are directly given so one projection represents four views 
then remaining two are also directly given so once you analyze this problem so then we can discuss how to draw the projections so very important how to read the problem and analyze what is the data given and then uh, imagine how will be the solution and then start drawing with the projections so coming to drawing the projections as usual we'll be starting with x y line then so here 40 mm below x y line below x y line so directly given directly given so from one of the point you measure a distance of 40 mm so that represents four views you should be you should remember so what are the four views front views of point a b c and also top view of point c so point c all both top and front view represent that whereas front view of two points so from x y line i will measure distance of 40 mm so locate the projection of point that represents the front view so a dash b dash c dash front view of three points and also top view of point c so c c and c dash both top and front view is fixed whereas front view of two points is fixed then once you finish this you show the dimensions of 40 mm from your x y line then next it says that top view of point b is on x y line so if we know that always top and front view will be coinciding top and front view will be coinciding so point the top view of point b is on x y line so means on x y line means it will be on x y line itself so from here i have drawn the projection and i have draw fix the point so this point this point itself i'll get a projection that is projection of point b that is top view of point b so four positions are four projections are fixed then further it says that top view of point a 50 mm above it so above it means above x y line i will continue in this projection line so from here i measure a distance of 50 mm so there i fix the projection of one more point that is a that is its top view so a a dash b b dash c dash and c so i fix the projection of all the six all of all the three points that is top view of point a and b a b and c top and front view of points a b and c that is first part of the problem next it says that draw the projections of the points and add right side view to point a only add right side view to point a only means once again i should draw the profile view profile view of profile view to point only a that is what once again you should be careful while reading the problem so not all the three points only for point a so if you decide or if it is it has to be drawn the profile view of point a let's look on point a that is where is the top view and where is the front view so coming to the point a so here it is my top view here it is my front view so top view is above x y line front view is below x y line so means the point is in third quadrant point is in third quadrant similar to the problem what we saw just now so point, since point is in third quadrant so i know that always top and front view will be in line similarly front view and your profile view will be in line means here i got the top view here i got the front view here i should get the profile view so before drawing the profile view i should fix the profile plane i should fix the profile plane once again what should be distance between the projector and the profile that is uh, plane is not given in this problem so, so in such cases once again you can take any convenient distance so from this projection line i'll measure a certain convenient distance there i'll fix my profile plane so naming is done as x1 y1 i know top is in this plane front view is in this plane i should get the profile view in this plane so this is the vacant plane so whenever uh, you drop the profile view for third quadrant when the point is in third quadrant you should draw the 45 degree line from the intersection of x y and x1 y1 line from the intersection point in the vacant plane so that's what done here so this is the intersection point of x y and x1 y1 line so from here you draw 45 degree line you draw 45 degree line so in this vacant plane then the common rule once again in order to get the profile view start from top view 
move towards left or right depending upon the condition then until it meets the 45 degree line then move above or below then start from front view once again move left or right until you get the intersection point that is the common rule that should be applied in order to get the profile view so applying that tool in this condition so this is my top view a so i have to draw the profile view to point a only so from here i'll draw a horizontal projectors i'll draw horizontal projector so in this direction this arrow mark shows the direction in which the projector is drawn so it meets the 45 degree line at this point then from here i'll draw vertical projector from here i'll draw the vertical projector this arrow is the direction direction downward so then start from the front view a dash is here this is the front view of point a so draw horizontal projector until it this meets the vertical projector the intersection of this vertical projector and horizontal projector will be your profile view that is represented as a double dash that is represented as a double dash so you'll, you'll get the profile view for point a only that is what given in the problem that is what only given in the problem so i drawn the uh, draw projections of point a b and c so top and front view for all the three points and then profile view to point a only as per the uh, conditions given in the problem so further so he has also asked state the coordinates in which points lie state the coordinates in which the point lie so look at each individual point look at each individual point so start with point a so point a so top is here front view is here that is top is above x y line front view is below x y line so whenever we get the top view above x y line and front view below x y line so as discussed in the previous sessions so that is nothing but the condition when the point is in third quadrant so hence point a is in third quadrant then come to the second point so come to the second point so point b is on x y line point b is on x y line that is uh, your top is on x y line front view is below x y line so top is on x y line and front view is below x y line so in this condition so it can be either the point can lie in two of the quadrants it can be third quadrant or fourth quadrant so top is above uh, top is on x y line and front view is below that is your x y line so if you consider this uh, given condition so here the point b is on here that is uh, horizontal plane and this is the condition where point b is 40 mm below so 40 mm below so you can assume since it is on since the point is on x y on your vertical plane if i consider it is here then it becomes third quadrant if i consider the point to be here then it is fourth quadrant since it is on since it is on vp so either it can be third quadrant or it can be in the fourth quadrant because it is just given as it is on vertical plane whether in front or in behind that is not mentioned if you consider front then it will be in one quadrant if you can consider if you consider this is in the front then it becomes fourth quadrant if you consider behind then it will be the third quadrant hence point b can be either in third or fourth quadrant then come to the point c so here point c you can see that both top and front view is below your x y line both top and front view is below x y line so we can get this condition only when the point is in fourth quadrant as discussed in the previous sessions so whenever point is in fourth quadrant so both the points that is both the top and front view will be below x y line so this is the fourth quadrant so this is the fourth quadrant so somewhere point is here and the point is here the rule says that uh, the horizontal plane should be rotated clockwise vertical plane is fixed so here both top and front view will be in this plane if i rotate like this both top and front view i'll be getting below your x y line then this is the intersection of your horizontal and vertical plane is your x y line since it is both top and front view below x y line so quadrant is fourth quadrant so this is how we can solve the problems uh, by reading the problem and analyzing what the data given and then uh, move on with the drawing the projections thank you